So hey guys and welcome to another episode on our Barney family YouTube on Facebook. And today guys we've just uh, run Keith, which is the second part of the video we shared earlier doing the Isle Away. And where we went was up to Dufton. Well it's thought we started at Oh goodness be office or something I think, wasn't it? And we're all the way up to Dufton, right across the Isle Away here in Keith. And then we're gonna sort of complete that triangle by going back towards our hometown of Elgin, which should be just beautiful today I would have thought. Bit of snow up in the mountainside, guys, so I don't want to get go any farther sort of south. I'd rather just uh, head back to our home town, I think, anyway. But guys, if you enjoy our videos, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit notifications. We have tons of stuff coming up this year. And of course, please remember, you know, if you've got kids, Dave and Emily have got their own Barney Family Fun YouTube channels, you know, and gaming and all that sort of stuff. So we certainly hope you enjoy, and I hope you enjoy this little run. Right guys, righty, 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 let's get out of here. Whoa, big Stevenson lorry, look at that. Nice. And off we go. Now normally guys, if I was out here, I would take the back road, which we call the back road to Keith to get back to Elgin, but I'm gonna take you the main road today for a change. Uh, just to see how it goes, because it looks really nice out. It should be really nice. Yeah, so not on this road, not on this road very often, I have to say. You know, like I said, we normally take the back road, which is obviously, it is actually the nicer road. Well, we've done that quite a few times lately, so we'll just change it up and go this way. And hopefully where we'll end up, guys, is Falkabers. A wee town called Falkabers that um, you used to have to drive through on this road, but now it's just uh, been bypassed. It's a lot quieter, but and just another lovely example. You know, of that Scottish village, you know, it's just gorgeous. But again, on these vlogs, guys, at this time of the year, got really dirty roads. You'll see just in the middle there. Shouldn't be so bad out here, because this is the main road. But on the back roads, boy oh boy, just unbelievable some of the dirty patches you come across. Which is no problem in the car, but on the bike it's a different story altogether. Ah, the Keith S. Benz. Really nice. So yeah, we'll end up in uh, Falkabers. And I've, there's a castle um, just there in Falkabers that I've been meaning to go to, but I uh, just haven't sort of got around to it yet. Um, which, which I'll probably do very soon, actually. We do like our Scottish Castle playlist. We've got quite a few castles on there now, so I'd really like to add to the collection, you know? Oh, no, the main road looks really clean, actually, you know that? Oh. Having said that, I just drove over some of the cow dung. Yeah, now keep the sun out please. Just for this vlog. Yeah, so this is our main road really. It's the main A96 that connects Inverness and Aberdeen. To which Scotland is, you know, somewhere in the middle of that. Oh, Bucky would have been quite a nice wee drive that way. But no, stick to the plan, stick to the plan. So what do we have back to Elgin? 15 miles. Well, that's all right. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it easy today. Yeah, there's dirt everywhere. That's a nice wee house there. Yeah, I mean, we really hope to get an old farm. That's what we're really looking for when we come to sell up a new house. I have to say, I wouldn't want a farm right on the edge of the A96. It'd be pretty noisy. Yeah, I'll just take it easy. 
This road's always slow. Now the lorries and buses are kind of restricted to 50 miles an hour. So you rarely see them get up above that, which means the rest of us sort of get tail -backed. It's a lovely view going back the way actually, as well, really, really nice. But for this one I'd like to be Falkovers, that's where we need to be, get to Falkovers. Yeah, so roads are not very nice at the moment, I have to say. It's fine when the sun's out, but uh, I don't think we're going to see the sun again for a little while. Well, that's okay, we can live with that. Yeah, and Falkovers isn't far, guys, it's down here. Yeah, look at the tailback. This is the normal. That's why the side roads are actually a bit more fun. Might take you a little longer to get there, but it's worth it. Yeah, the crawler lane here just gives it people the opportunity to overtake and clear the slower traffic, you know? Not that we need that, I'm not in any hurry. Not doing the motorbike vlogs. No hurry at all. There's a lovely caravan site down here that we went to, I think it was a year ago. It was actually a year ago. This month, I think, actually. Maybe a bit earlier. But uh, yeah, it just shows you, you don't have to travel far to get a lovely caravan site. Oh yeah, just covered with trees here. Not much of a view for you guys, not much of a view. Yeah, just going down, 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 down. You might not be able to see it on camera, but we are going down. Ah, uh, guys in the lorry's having a wee break, look. I suppose it is lunchtime just now, I think. So round about. Ah, now here's the crawler line, look. Coming down, so we'll drop right down now. And get into Falkovers. Yeah, almost there now. Down to Falkovers. Of course this is all new, but it's new to us. The bypass of the folk of ours, which is a bit of a shame. But you'll see when we go, do go down, you know that you'll see uh, you'll see how tight the streets are. And bear in mind that used to be our main road. You know, I used to feel sorry for lorry drivers. Got to negotiate the streets of folk of ours. Yeah, let's head on down. No DRI, there we go. Yeah, that's a beautiful town. Let's see if I can show you one of the most beautiful schools you'll probably ever see. And it's not a private school, it's a state, a state um, school. But the building is just <laughs> tremendous, you know, just for a, what you say, it's just for a school. But Sharon takes the, kid, the children and kids there quite a lot. It's another sort of place for them. So the caravan site that we went to is just off to our left there. Wait till you see that, it's just off to our left here. Nobody behind us. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, imagine if you could have snogged up for your, you be in your own house. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so very quiet guys, look. But the lorries used to have to come up and down this road. And of course back then there was, you know, cars all the way up, lined up these streets. And it used to take the guys quite a little while just to get through this, you know. And then beautiful. There's a pink house, look, or a pink shop I should say. Ice cream parlour, nice.
They'll be coming down at the square now. Oh, they've put in, they've put in a bit of a speed bump here, look. It's lovely, eh? They're fighting the clock tower, look. Give me a quick look, guys. Give you a wee look at the big church over there. There's four churches I've seen since we've came in here. See the spire over there. Oh yeah, it's, it's a wishing well maybe, is it? There's pennies all over it. Oh, there's pennies all inside it. I don't know if that's a town hall, I think it would be. Looks awful like it. No, no, it's a church. Church of Scotland Church. A wishing well right in the middle of town, eh? And off we go again. Oh, of course school. It's the school dinners. The school must be out for lunch. Nice and slow. Now let's see guys, let's see, is this the turn off to the castle? I'm sure it is. Is it open though? Gates are open, yes. Let's have a look, eh? <laughs> oh, this will be nice. Yeah, it's a Gordon Castle. And there's like a coffee and a play area as well up here. So Sean intends to take the kids up. Uh, you know, the children and kids just gives just gives a bit extra for them, you know, something different. Well, I'll take a time here though. Well, that would have been the old uh, gatehouses. Oh, look, they've had a tree down as well. Look at the size of that one. Do not drive in the grass. It's okay, it wasn't a plan, Andy, don't worry. Yeah, look, that, that, hey, I came down in the storm, that one. And they must just be taking it apart piece by piece. Yeah. Know which way is it to the castle? Let's see, no entry that way. Thanks, mate. Old garden coffee shop and a state office. Ooh, the field's been turned over as well. What have we got? Don't think it'll go that way. Garden cottage, lakeside and cottages. Not really as interested in that. We could have a little look in a little while though. But there it goes. Yeah, there it goes in all this glory, look at him! Gordon Castle. I can imagine this whole estate's part of it. I would have thought. Oh me, up we go. Oh, we're a nice little tour today, aren't we? Fancy a nice coffee now. Got on about that coffee. So you get a latte or something. So what do you do? Parking? Murray Primary School's country park. That's nothing to do with us. Coffee, deliveries, office parking, Apple House. Oh yeah, there's the walled garden right there. Walled garden, the coffee shop. Now is that gate open? Or do they just have one, I wonder? Maybe just have one way in, eh? Oh, the lassie in there twisted my arm, you guys. Look. Brownie, and I only went in for a cup of tea to see once I saw one of them. <gasps> Brownie, that's it. So yeah, I was just speaking to the girl in there, and she says that the, the castle's closed at the moment. You can't get in, but you can get around it. So, 
I'm going to throw this down my neck and then we'll head back out again. Oh, well, that might be fine. A wee treat for myself. I did actually bring coffee, but it's cold now. So I was a good excuse to get a cappuccino. Yeah, the lassie in the shop said that it's the private road that we passed already. So... I'm assuming. Freeway traffic, okay, so we're fine here. Oh, that was fine. The last thing the shop said... Just get out here, thank you. Buddy, it says private road, but that's the road you take. So... Keep off the grass, verges. Yeah, I bet they've got a lot of fires here. And they've probably got quite a lot of logs. So, apparently I'm supposed to take this road down here. Here we are. So we're coming up the back, the back of it, I think. Yeah, and you expect these roads to be a bit dirty, you know. We'll just zip through here. And here we are. Okay, so let's, just, let's just take this little road down here a second. We'll take this little road down here just a second, see where this takes us. Just having a little look around. Quarry Garden Lodge. Yeah, so we're just sat in behind Falkabers here. The time we were at just a minute ago. And that takes you somewhere else. What's that? Estates office. Well, we're not interested in that. That's what you do. A nice cattle lamp there. So we'll just do a little turn. At least it gives you a little look, doesn't it? Uh, we'll do a little three point turn because there's no one around. Go back in through that gate that I saw there. Yeah, I think there's people working in those offices, so better keep the revs to a minimum. Yeah, this is blocked off as well. Wow. And there's the castle itself. How cool is that? So it's a private re residence. No public access. Right, okay. And where does this little dirt trap take you up to? Nice. Don't think there's any anyone living in that bit, or I wonder. We'll see if we can get a look around anyway. So that bit over there's a private residence, and this bit I'm assuming isn't. There we go. Yeah, just have to settle for some photographs of the castle, I'm afraid, guys. That's okay. The guy that actually owns the place, that's actually his house along there. And he kind of owns this whole bit. He was very friendly, really nice. But he just preferred to have photos rather than video. But hey ho, I'll put one of those pictures for you, you guys. Yeah, there's actually a uh, Scottish Games that take place here um, every year. So let's hope that 
the COVID isn't going to stop that. Get to see a little bit of the you know Scottish stuff. Yeah, toss of the key bar and all those different things. It was really nice. Need to get some photos on the way back. They've got some lovely photos of the castle. But the big building is actually the private resident residence of that guy himself. Apparently he's like a Gordon or something of the clan Gordon, but well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, you know, when you're really polite to people and just whatever, you know, that's usually paid back nicely. Yeah, so I don't know, that, that building is supposed to be another part of the castle itself. Look at that though. I can see tractors and that over the back there, so maybe that's where the, the people who keep the grounds, that's probably that part, that's what they do there. But yeah, very small, it's like a bit of a tower, you know. And um, hopefully it'll be open this hour. A lot of the castles we've visited, guys, have been over this past two years during COVID. So we've only ever really been able to get so around the outside and not really in it, which is a bit of a pain, you know. And we are actually on the off season at the moment when it comes to um, you know castles and sites like this actually being open to the public. But there we go. I had a much preferred a video, but I'll tell you what we'll do, guys. We'll head back there when the games are on. Take the camera, we'll get some lovely shots. That'll be awesome. We're back out this way that we came, eh? Uh. Hey, thank you! Thank you! Yeah, it is too beautiful! I like it! I like it! And here we are, this is down to the gatehouse. You should get a nice little view of the gatehouse actually when we come up here. I'll put my indicator nice and there, like so I want to stop here. Yeah, nice. And it looks like somebody actually lives in there as well. He's maybe just one of the guys on the Oh, there we go. It cuts it we normally take, like the bypass. And of course, Falkenberg is to this side here, isn't it? So guys, I'm just going to finish off this vlog at this particular point in time. Thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. I'm going to make this an extended vlog, which means I'm going to drive home. Just an extra 10, 15 minutes of food. It's just going to drive back. You know, if you just want to hang around and have a wee chat, that would be absolutely brilliant. But for now guys, please remember to like, subscribe and hit notifications if you like our videos. We've got loads coming up this year, just including fishing, camping, caravan and you name it, we're trying to do it. And of course David and Emily have almost got their Barney Family Fun YouTube for kids, so I hope that's uh, enjoyable too. But for now guys, thank you so much and God bless. Right guys, if you're still with us, thanks for hanging around. Just have a little extended vlog on the way back to Elgin, eh? Because that's us, really. We've done what we've come out to do. There we are. Now, exit. We have to go off to the left, do we? Looks like it. There we come. Yeah, on these little roads here, you see all the stones in the middle of the road. You have to be quite careful. And getting out this way. Here we go. Oh, it's so nice to get back on kind of normal roads again, I have to say. It's a lot more concentration, therefore you get that little bit more tired, you know. There's yet another war memorial, you guys. World War One and Two. You have them in just about every town and village in this uh, area, actually. Right. Let us get out of here. Oh, boys are steaming up again. Yeah, it's a nice little drive back. Kids should be just coming out of school, I think. 
the time we get there, well then again, I think we, in this video, that we've just done, I'm pretty sure I saw kids out getting their lunch, so maybe it's a lot earlier than I thought. Yeah, there's boxers of space side, you guys. For those of you who like your fine foods. The sun's not out, which is a bit of a bonus actually going this way. Because it's kind of been our faces a little bit. Yeah, thanks for having around if you're still with us though. Really appreciate it. You know, it's still... Oh, I'd even say now we're still building this channel. You know that? We're still building it. You know, a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. And of course, I was in a breathing machine. I was in hospital for a long time. Cheated death about three times, I think it was, altogether. So, I've been in a long, long recovery from PTSD. A really long one. A lot longer than I thought. So days like today make it all, you know, what a the difference. We're trying to do more of these actually, get as many motorbike blocks done as I can. Yeah, and of course some, some of the biggest stuff we've been doing has been, um, you know, David and Emily's Barney Fong on YouTube and Facebook. And uh, they've been with three YouTube channels. So it's got everything on there, you know. They've got gaming, they've got uh, you know, short videos, all sorts of stuff. They pretty much try to do everything actually. So that is there for your kids to enjoy. And there's Bully's Farm. Those of you that kind of follow our vlogs, you'll know that's where we keep the, the caravan, the boat. The boat was something we just had to pack away when I got unwell. And uh, it's something we try to sort of do ever since as well, but just so much stuff to do. Ah, it just blows out the rubbish. We've been very slow for a while. Yeah, nice out today. A really good day for the vlog. I like it when there's a bit of sun. It just needs to be nice and bright. That's all we need. And there we are, lovely. Oh, big Scania. Yes. That's another thing we're hoping to do. We're hoping to get a hold of a, an old lorry, a Scania lorry, for our Barney family um, YouTube and Facebook, you know? For sort of longer distances and wild camping and, you know, just having fun, you know? Yeah, nice to be back on this road, I have to say. Just don't have to concentrate the same. But I think, guys, to finish this one off, I think we'll stop in by Loch Oyer, which is just down here. And down we come, don't be behind us. Oh, wait till you see this loch. Oh, it's beautiful. Obviously, in the English share they call it lakes. We call them lochs. L O C H. Loch. Oh, we're going to get an open bit. I'm sure there's an open bit down here. Hi. Yeah, it is. Oh, me, somebody's building a great big house there. Look at that thing. And a guy's parked right in that space. It'd be really handy for me. Oh no, we're in that behind him. Oh yes, look at that shop. It's one of those eco homes. No doubt. As you can see, it's actually facing directly south to get the the sun all day long for solar panels and stuff like that. But check it out, guys. Oh, beautiful. Now, I don't think they've got babies just now, so they shouldn't attack me. Sometimes they're pretty... swans can be pretty mean. But I've got my letters on anyway, so it really doesn't matter. You can attack me if you want. But this, you guys, is Loch Oyer. And if I can remember rightly, there's guys that actually own this and, you know, keep it stocked up with fish, so... God, that'd be awesome. Get out on that. Hey guys, what's happening? 
You guys are just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. What are they doing? Just drinking? Are oh, they just drinking? Are they? We've all got a tail look. Ah, uh, so that's us, you guys. All done, I think, eh? That'd be quite nice. It's been a good couple of vlogs, so I've really enjoyed that. But uh, as per usual, guys, get a wee bit tired near the end. Don't like being tired on the bike, that's not good. So this is a quick flick back to Elgin, and that'll be us, eh? Now there's the sim just to finish us off. Now it's gone again. Never mind. Yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching. Loads more videos to come. But for now, God bless and take care.